Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on November 21st, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes, giving you a full world update. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, pretty quiet. We still have that earth facing and now affecting coronal hole wind stream in the southern hemisphere. No sunspots to talk about. And just a bit of plasma filaments on the cresting limb left side of the sun. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. A little closer look. Not much to talk about and no major sunspots that are cresting right now or coming into view. Still have a lot of action on the back side of the sun. Minor CMEs towards Mercury. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing. Again, a pretty quiet sun today. But still amazing images, to say the least. We're going to be watching these plasma filaments as they are still connected and hope they stay connected over the next 24, 36 hours as they are in an earth-facing position right now. Definitely going to be watching this because of that intense and deepened coronal hole ahead of it and another one building behind that. Thanks to Solar Dynamics Observatory for these images put together by Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide looking at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral. You can see yet again another CME shot out at Mercury. That's about four in the past week or so directed right at Mercury. The backside of the sun Solar X-ray flux remains low, just under B-class. KP index is a slightly raised geomagnetic activity, still low. Looking at our real-time solar wind, right now we are sitting over 600 kilometers per second. We were almost up to 700 kilometers per second earlier today. 688 we topped out at. And that is the affecting coronal hole wind stream, which the second time in the past week we have been affected. This is what it looks like on our magnetosphere. See how our planet is holding out. This is the solar winds. You can see them get intense throughout the day today and then sustained just over 600 kilometers per second. Have a look at the equatorial planes for the pressure. Still seems to be a lot of pressure on our planet right now. Waiting for that to release. Pretty quiet for earthquakes across the world right now. Schumann resonance for today, quiet as well. A power of nine. Nothing major to report here. Power of nine and a quality of 16. Now let's browse through the earthquakes the last 24 hours. We're going to start out here in Oregon. As early this morning, we saw a 4.4 earthquake off the coast, 10 kilometer depth. Also saw another one last night. Another sizable 4.2 here in La Libertad, Mexico. A couple minor earthquakes through Nevada this today. Continuing earthquakes on the border with Texas, White City, New Mexico. And as well, Winoka, 2.7 reported. And a 2.6 here reported in Abingdon, Virginia at a 4 kilometer depth. We'll have a quick look. USGS also reported a 2.4 here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. No major swarms to talk about and no alerts to talk about. Yellowstone remains quiet. Other than that, that's the last 24 hours for the North American plate. Let's carry on here to the Caribbean. Puerto Rico seeing a 3.1. South America pretty quiet today, but... All along the coast here, 4.7 Peru, 4.8 Peru, 50 kilometer depth, and as well a 4.7 here, Antofagasta, Chile, 4.7 at a 42 kilometer depth, still pretty quiet for that region. 4.9 here reported, South Sandwich Islands, quiet, very quiet across African plate and up into Europe. A lot of minor earthquakes are also reported with volcano discovery. Xinjiang, China, 4.6 at a 10-kilometer depth. 
4.9 here in Babon, Philippines. And our largest earthquake today, a 5.6 in Kermadec Islands region, 10 kilometer depth. Just north of that, Fiji, 5.0. So pretty quiet to say the least across the world the last 24 hours. Hawaii seeing a bump up in earthquakes. Alaska still seeing minor rumbles. A little update on La Palma as well, as that still has a constant flow and eruption. They saw a couple sizable earthquakes today, a 4.3 six hours ago, and as well, a 4.0. Have a quick look at all of the earthquakes in the region, and it seems to be slowing down. These earthquakes are pretty widespread. It's when they start coming all together, that's when it gets a little bit worrisome. So stay safe, stay aware and prepared, everybody La Palma and across the world. Having a look at the last seven days for earthquakes right now. Pretty constant, but quiet today. So expecting an uptick in seismicity over the next 24 to 36 hours as the pressure is released on the solar winds. Take a quick moment to say hello to everybody. And I want to thank you for joining and subscribing Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Thanks for all the memberships, super chats, and donations. Much love and greatly appreciated. Help further Morning Dew research and productions. Keep an eye on the Juan de Fuca up into the Cascades, in my opinion. Having a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, a lot of volcanoes to update today. Sterno here at Sangay in Ecuador, Nevados de Ruiz, Sabancaya in Peru, Raventador in Ecuador, Semeru, Indonesia, La Palma in Spain, Santa Maria, Guatemala, Fuego, Guatemala, Nevadas de Chilean in Colombia, Luatolo, Indonesia, Popo in Mexico, Swiss Najima, Japan, Karamiski, Russia, Ibu, Indonesia, and Semis Napochnoi, United States. So that's about 14 volcanoes getting updated today. And looking across the world right now, satellite imagery. Some very big systems in the Pacific and as well that long line of moisture heading through the Atlantic and devastating situation across British Columbia right now with the floods and winter storms just north of you. Looking at satellite imagery, you do have a lot of cloud cover right now heading your way and some more systems that will be coming. So please stay safe, stay aware and prepared. Stay tuned to Morning Dew giving you the full weather forecast, the only place where you can get a world weather forecast. Having a quick look at satellite imagery here, at the major systems that are spinning in the Pacific, and they are vigorous and packing a lot of moisture. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here in the long-range forecast. Depending on how cold it gets through Canada, could see a heavy snow situation we already do have a warning going out to northern bc coastal regions as well we've got wind warnings heading out across the great lakes tonight and into tomorrow having a look at windy.com showing the weather systems moving through the pacific this week and it looks like coming into wednesday thursday that's when it'll be hammering the bc coastline and then in the long range, watch for another big system to form coming into the coast with very strong winds and a lot of moisture. Give you a quick look here at the snow forecasted for the next 10 days across North America. And yeah, we definitely have winter on our doorstep, especially across both coasts right now. British Columbia in some areas could see upwards of over 333 centimeters of snow. That is three meters of the heavy white stuff early in the season. So stay safe, stay aware and prepared all through coastal regions of British Columbia. And watch through the foothills to see about a foot of snow. As well, northern Ontario, you could see up to 60 centimeters of snow over the next 10 days. And even up into... Newfoundland and Quebec could see upwards just under 100 centimeters of snow. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Daily Events Worldwide. Starting out here in home base 
Ontario, where we had a pretty rainy day ahead of us and strong winds tonight. And things are going to be cooling off in the long range, big high pressure ridge coming from the west. Overlooking the next few days, pretty gray and cold through Ontario. Watch for this long line of moisture to drench the eastern coastline of the United States and Canada up into the Atlantic provinces. And then that low pressure system will join forces with another in the Atlantic. Looking westward here, watch for that high pressure ridge to come down from northern Alberta, Saskatchewan. Minus double digits packing. But through Alberta, watch for an upswing in temperatures there. You guys will have a Chinook heading through southern Alberta. And then the coastal regions here, looking at the long range, a lot of rain and snow heading to coastal regions BC. Watch for rain to sweep southward through Texas this week as well. Thursday into Friday. Overlooking the Atlantic, still watching this large low, but then watch, it gets wrapped up with the low pressure system off of North America, and they're going to join forces there. Be interesting to see what happens in the long range. Strong high pressure ridge just, in north, just north of that. Overlooking Europe, still have a low pressure system, a cold low pressure system affecting eastern parts. And then watch as you have a low heading into United Kingdom this week. Will be quite, quite warm ahead of it, so it will start out as rain. And then looking through the Mediterranean, you have a low pressure system trapped in there as well. Southeast Asia and Russia, large low pressure system moving eastward. High pressure ridge built in over the Tibetan Plateau. And no major swarms or no major storms to talk about through Russia. The only major storm is heading to and through the Korean Gulf. Got a low pressure system here. It's going to be hanging around Sri Lanka, southern parts of India. So watch for heavy rains and storms to continue throughout the week. Philippines, daily evaporation rains, heavy at times. And then looking at that large low moving through the Korean Gulf, and Japan this week, and then heading out towards Alaska in the long range forecast. Overlooking Australia, you've got an extreme weather week ahead of you. A very large low pressure system will be affecting the whole continent as it heads into parts of Perth tonight into tomorrow and then moves its way eastward through southeastern parts of Australia and the whole coastal region. So watch for extreme weather and wild weather to break out as they are transitioning into summer. Well, spring first, but then summer. Quick look over the Pacific Ocean. Major systems spinning there. No weather systems affecting Hawaii. And then we've got a weather bomb here forming in Argentina. Long-range forecast. That is going to be a large extreme weather event. Heads up, Argentinians. I don't know if it'll quite make the border with Brazil. But definitely going to be an extreme weather event there as well. So both Australia and South America, extreme weather events. Overlooking Africa. No major weather systems affecting you. Daily evaporation rains. And a long line of moisture is going to sweep across Madagascar from that low. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, checking out the low pressure systems and wind maps for both. Much love to you all and thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and share. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye bye.
this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.